Greetings to all melanated people all around the world. It's really a joy, it's a blessing. It's an honor to be out here in nature and greeting you. Bring this message of emancipation to you, a message that would set you free and a message that would teach you that imagination creates reality and how you can create your reality consciously. That's the reason why I want to speak to you concerning our ancestor and elder Abdullah, the black mystic from Ethiopia who taught Neville Goddard how to create his reality consciously. And today, millions of people all around the world are benefiting from the teaching of Abdullah by way of Neville Goddard lectures, which were basically Abdullah's lectures and the five years that Neville spent learning from Abdullah. That's the reason why I want to share with you a money manifestation technique that was taught to Neville Gadel by Abdullah. Now, you, you have to realize that the Bible is not a literal book as the way they taught it to us. For the Bible addresses the human mind and must be interpreted psychologically. The Bible is not literal, neither is the Bible secular history. But many in my country and many parts of the world, especially in Africa and among many black people, they believe that the Bible is literal and that the Bible is secular history. And some are so ignorant, they would say that even the white people believe in Jesus Christ also. Now, if I am white and I believe in the Savior to be a white man, it means I believe in my own image and likeness. So that's not idolatry. But when you do not believe in your own image and your own likeness, it is idolatry. It is as simple as that. And sometimes when I bring across messages like this, some people think that I'm speaking about race because in their subconscious mind, there's something down there about race. But I am on another level. I am on the level of love and truth. So I have to speak the truth. Okay? So when you come to understand that all things was made by him and without him there isn't anything made that was made and that him is not a man 2,000 years ago that him is just a personification of your own human imagination then you come to realize that when you refer to the him in St. John 1 and verses 3 and believe it's a man 2,000 years ago that is idolatry that is you worshipping an idol that is you saying that the idol that was given to you outside of yourself is God, the creator, your provider. And without him, there isn't anything made that was made and all things was made by him outside of you. Okay? So if it is given to you in the form of a Chinese man, then you worship any Chinese man as your God. If it is given to you in any form outside of yourself. So this had to be known to our people. Okay? Now, Abdullah taught Neville that God is his own human imagination. And everyone believed that God is the creator. Everyone believed that God is the multiplier. Now, to prove what I am saying, that it is true, I'm encouraging you to put this practical exercise to work in your life and prove for yourself. Now, this leaf that I'm holding, I'm holding this leaf to represent money. And money is in many different forms in terms of currency. You have the US currency, you have the EC, where I'm living is the EC, which is the Eastern Caribbean. Okay? In, in, in Europe, you have, you have the, um, the Euro. In, in England, you have pounds and so on. But you can take money and you can look at the money. Now, when you look at the money, it's as if you are photographing the money. 
are as if you are photocopying the money. Now, when you look at a, a camera, and when you look at photography, where does it come from? It comes from the human mind. Because everything is within us. When you look at a photocopying machine, where did the photocopying machine come from? The human mind. So wherever money has been printed, the ink, the paper, everything, it was for us a thought. Someone had to come up with the idea. So all of that is in you. The printing press is in you. Now when you understand that, you can take the money and look at the money. And then, when you look at the money over and over and over and over, do it rep repetitively till you can actually memorize it. And can imagine it. You come to realize that you're actually using your mental faculties. Your mental faculties consist of your will, your reasoning, your imagination, your memory. I'm trying to remember the next one at this time, okay? But you're using your mental faculties, okay? So when you look at it and you can memorize it, it's like you photograph it as I would have said before. Then you can count it. It means that you are the creator and you can create it. Because everything that you see without, it is within. And everything that is within, it is without. As above, so below. Love correspondence. So what are you going to do? You study the money. You look at it, you study it. You touch it, you feel it. Get in touch with the feeling of how it feels. You can smell it because the money has a distinct smell. Just like everything in this world, it has a distinct smell. The clothes you're wearing, which means cloth, has a distinct smell. When you enter into a supermarket, it has a distinct smell. When you enter any place, it has a distinct smell. When you touch anything, it has a, a distinctive feeling, a certain feeling. You can close your eye and feel a golf ball. And you can feel a softball and you have different feeling. And I see my battery right now is telling me it's going low, so let me, let, me, let me finish up here. So you count how much money you want, how much money you desire in your imagination. You do it over and over, okay? But most importantly, do it just before you go to bed and fall asleep doing it. And a series of events will take place in your life and bring it to pass. So that being said, my brother and my sisters, I want to thank you very much. And I want to encourage you to subscribe or to like, uh, to comment. And always remember, this is the message from our ancestor, Abdullah. So with that being said, I want to say... Peace, love you, giving you the single I sign of Matthew 6 20 where it says, If I be single, your whole body will be full of light. And when you have the experience, you come to realize that it is the rising of the S U N in a S O N and it is the dawning of a new day in your life. And you will come to realize without the sun, there is no life and there is no light. And without the human imagination, there is anything made that was made. And that the sun parallels the human imagination and the human imagination parallels the sun. And we are the people of the sun. Therefore, my brother and my sister, it is high time for you to use your mind power to achieve your every desire and also to count every dollar. With that being said, I want to say peace, love you, I'm out.